Does anybody here know the difference between a financial planner or a broker and a registered investment advisor? Does anybody happen to use a registered investment advisor right now? Well, we know you do. <laughs> uh, in any event, uh, it's, you, can, you can portray it in this way. There's an old model and a new model. The old model was where a broker would be selling you things, selling you products to fulfill whatever your needs might be. Now, those needs uh, may be income planning in retirement. Uh, they might be uh, stock market uh, risk, and you might want to avoid it. But whatever it is, they seem to have a product to address it, and that's always going to be the case. But the manner in which they get paid is, should be of particular importance to you because if their primary, in, uh, their primary uh, focus is to make money for themselves or their employer, if they're a financial broker, they work for a broker-dealer, it's to their broker-dealer that their allegiance is owed. If they work for an insurance company, it's to the insurance company that their allegiance is owed. And therefore, where does it put your needs in the priority list? It's further down. Now, that model is the old model. You may be sold things that you don't particularly need or don't fit you the way they should fit you. And God only knows there's enough financial concepts and plans out there that can address most of our needs. The new model is an advisory model or a fee-based model, which is pretty much where I am. We don't sell products. What our main product, if you will, if you can call it a product, is advice. It's an advisory service. So wealth management is more than just selling things to people, but more importantly, when you go to a broker, whether it be an insurance broker or a financial broker, you're going to get investment or insurance advice. That isn't the A to Z, the alpha and the omega of our financial lives, nor is it what we should be focused upon. There's much more to it than that.